What is happening guys? Welcome back to the Genius Tech channel. Now today we're going to be looking at a piece of video software that I've recently done a lot of videos regarding and this is regarding Hippo. Now Hippo have got an amazing beginner video editing tool which I've used uh, many a times and which you can see in the videos up in the links just there. But today we're going to be looking at something quite cool. So Hippo have come up with something that everyone needs in their life when it comes, especially when it comes to editing and uh, when it comes to photography and imaging. And that is a watermark remover. Now you all know what I mean, which is these images that have those icons in the corners in the center. You want that image, but there's that watermark and you can't get rid of it. Now, if you aren't very good when it comes to editing and Photoshop and all that good stuff, I've got a tool that I'm going to be showing you today, which is Hippo's watermark remover. And we're going to be going into depths. So what we're going to do is going to transfer over the screen and I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this and why it is so beneficial. So let's go have a look. So here we have it. This is Hippo's official uh, website. If you go down to the links in the description, you will be able to find out where you can head to this page. And this is the easiest water mark remover there is. So all we need to do now is go over to where it says try for free. Click on that. Wait for it to install and then send it to the place you want and just send it straight there. As soon as you've done this, you will get this, which is Hippo's watermark remover. And then all you need to do is go through the installation process and go from there. As soon as you've done that, you will get this and it is, you'll get this icon and which this is Hippo watermark remover. Give that a double click and you will be greeted with this screen. Now, as you can see from just the start, it is very simple. The interface is extremely uh, adversive as well. So you have in the top left here, you have remove video marker or you have in the top right, which is remove image water marker. So we're going to go for removing an image one today. Now, as you can see, you can either drag your images through or you can drop them. So I have my three images on the left hand side here, which I'm going to be testing today. So all you do is click on that and drag it over and then just drop it in. So as you can see there, I like this image uh, with the mountains and the clouds in the back, but there is this watermark digital trends right in the center. I need to remove that. So if we go over to the right hand side, you can see we've got select selection, zoom and move, undo and redo. And we've also got three different modes of remover. We've got texture, edge filling, and even smooth filling. Now these can affect different types of images. So some images would prefer smooth and some would prefer edge and texture. So what we're going to do is start off with selection. So you can either build squares like this, or you can do pinpoints. So if it's a multiple uh, different sized of water markers, you can do it like that. Or you even have the brush section. So if I just brush over the part that I don't want, which is this bit, and then we'll brush over the words as well. So this is pretty much me just highlighting the bit I want to get rid of. So now we have three different types for this. Now it depends on the clouds of how they respond to this. So we've got smooth filling or edge or texture. I'm going to start with the smooth and I'm going to click on remove now. And as you can see right there, the watermark is now gone. It hasn't affected the quality of the image either. And it really was that simple. Now from here, uh, I'm happy with this. All I need to do is go over to export, click on open in folder, and it will show me exactly what the image looks like. And there we have it. As you can see, I now have this photo saved. The watermark is gone and I, I can use this image for whatever I want. Now we're going to test some of the other ones as well. So if I click on replace and I want to replace this with a different image and we're going to go with this one. So this is quite a nice scenery one. So a little cabin in the background, you've got the lake and a little pier there. But as you can see, there's a watermark in the bottom right hand corner. Now I want to get rid of this. So we're going to do the square one this time because it's pretty central. So I'm going to click this corner and drag it over till the whole thing's covered. And we're going to go for smooth filling. So if I click on remove now, and as you can see, that watermark has gone. There is a little bit left over. So what you can do is highlight that bit as well. And then just click on remove and it is gone. As simple as that, guys. The watermark is gone and the picture is now yours. You can do what you want with this to the best of your ability. Now we're going to try edge filling. So I'm going to click my last image, which is this one. And as you can see, there's a little bit more of effect here. You can see the watermark is covering a lot of waves and a lot of water movements. So this one might be a little bit difficult. So we're going to do edge filling this time. So what we're going to do is use the pinpoint one. So I'm going to click exactly where I want this to go. Just because we're dealing with a few more extra textures in the back of the photo. 
so we're trying not to disturb the waves as much just in case they become a little bit distorted so finish that then to finish that off click on the la the cube that you first started with and click on remove now so as you can see from there it has removed the marker but there is a bit of distortion when it comes to the waves all you need to do is click on undo and then select smooth filling and remove and yet again you can see smooth filling didn't do very well on the waves but we can undo go, click on texture repair and click on remove what this will do this will remove the marker and it'll also repair the texture behind so as you can see so as you can see i've removed the water marker and i've also repaired the texture at the that was behind it which was the water and the waves and now the image has come out beautifully now i can use this for whatever i want whether i want this to be the background of my desktop a thumbnail in my videos or absolutely anything you really can't get any better than this it does a brilliant job so there we have it guys the simplest tool to use which is hip pause watermark remover but also an extremely powerful tool You've got easy selections here, you've got easy zoom and move, perfect maneuverability, so even if you want to get down into the little nitty gritty bits, I can zoom straight into the photo and you can dialogue it straight down from where you want. So if I want this perfectly square and I want to make sure I get every single little bit of the watermark, you can zoom in as much as you like, use the text boxes, use the multi-touch or even use the brush and then just simply remove it now. You can go through this process and depends which one works best for you just quickly go back and then you can work out which one works best and then you can figure out there and you're all done the watermark is gone the photo is your own and you can do with it as you please now just remember there is links in the description for where you can go and find hit pause official watermark remover i do urge you to go give this a go because it is an amazing tool you can do this to any image you want and you can remove the watermark from any photo and use it to your own ability. So the ones I've just done there, they're going to be used for thumbnail videos. They're going to be used for the background of my actual desktop. They're going to be used in so many things. The problem with photos is a lot of them online are perfect. You know, they're the perfect scenery for any project that you want. But they've always got that little watermark. And the thing is, I, I'm, I don't like them. I don't want to use that photo to have a watermark in the bottom right hand corner. That doesn't look right. So with this tool, you can remove them. You can remove any of them. The three functions we went through there, they allow you to take out the watermark if it's a simple photo, but they also allow you to repair the texture in the background of the photo. So you know fine well when you remove the watermark, there's going to be no issues whatsoever. And it really is a brilliant piece of kit. Now, just remember, links in the description right there will be the link to the official website where you can go over and download it for yourself and give it a try. It is a brilliant tool. And as always, thank you very much out there for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my further videos. And as always, I will catch you on the next one. I'm Junius Tech and I'm out.